Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. And in this one, we are gonna talk about a concept called routing. So as your application scales, you may find that it gets difficult to really have a single big prompt that does everything that you need it to. Not only is it gonna be difficult to maintain, but it's gonna be difficult to evaluate as well. Now instead, what you're likely gonna find is that it's better to have smaller specialized prompts that are better at responding to a certain category of questions, kind of similar to how we have been developing them so far. So let's pretend that this application got released, this little chat bot, in that after a month of just looking at user traffic, figuring out what questions they're asking, we saw that there were really three big categories of questions. And we'll go with this example that we've been sticking with. One of the categories of questions that we've been getting in was questions about the bot itself. Stuff like, what is your name? Or what is your purpose? Or what LLM do you use? The other category of questions that we'll pretend that we got in were questions about the video. So in the last video, we saw we could create this prompt right here, I have video, and we can inject the video transcript as well as the source code into it. And that this worked really well for answering questions about the video. We even saw that in the evaluation. Now, the last section right here, let's just say that if we get a question in and it wasn't about Aya, wasn't about the bot, and it wasn't about the video, then we could assume that it was just like a general programming question. How do I fix this bug? Um, I have a missing semicolon. What am I supposed to do? So on and so forth. So what we could do is now that we notice that three, these are the three big categories, we can go ahead and create prompt templates like we have been that's responsible for each one. But now we have the problem of whenever that question first comes in, we now have to decide which category, or in other words, which prompt template to use for that question. And in this case, what the solution would be is this router prompt template. And that's what we're gonna be building in this video a router prompt template that intakes a question and responds with a single word, either self, video, or general. And then in our application code, what we can do is we can use that to map it to a prompt template. And that way we can develop our system to really keep things very modularized, which of course is gonna help with development a lot. And also it's gonna simplify the evaluation process because now our evaluations, they don't have to test this whole slew of all these random questions. We can develop our prompts so that they're a bit more specialized because just like in programming, whenever you have a function and it becomes too big, it's difficult to test and difficult to maintain. So we wanna take that same concept and apply it to LLM application development as well. So on that note, let's go ahead and hop over here and in the university, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new template and I'll just call it Aya router. And then let me just change this to Jinja2. And for the system prompt, we can say something like, you are an AI that helps people with questions related to uh, programming tutorial videos. And I just wanna give it context of like, what its purpose is, even though this doesn't help with the exact output, just though, um, you know, give it a little better understanding of what we're using it for. So now we can kind of give it more direction and say, given a question, your job is to categorize it to one of three categories. And we will say, since we're looking for either self, video, or general, we'll say self, and we'll say for questions about yourself, such as what is your name? Good to give it a little example here. And then we'll say video. So respond with this for video specific questions. And we can say something like, um, we'll actually use an example that we used in our evals from last video. Uh, what words print out in the first loop. And this is also why I like to say that you're an AI that helps with programming uh, related questions basically, because then this makes a little bit more sense, has some context of what a loop is. 
And then we'll say general and we'll just say that this is for all other questions. And we can go ahead and just set, we'll try 3.5, see how that works out. And then I just wanna reemphasize that your response should be one word only. Okay, so the last thing we need in here is just a placeholder for the question. And that's just singular question, there we go. So I'm gonna create this template, next, next, all right. So now that our template is created, let's go ahead and test this bad boy out. So I already created this data set and I just have five questions here and I'll go through them real quick. Um, again, each of these questions, and let me download this while I'm waiting. So file, download, CSV, all right, download. Okay, so the first one is just what is your name? And again, this should be easy. We gave it as the example that's self. The second one is just, actually these next two are just like general programming questions. So those should end up in the general bucket. And then these last two questions right here, what is the return value of the main function from the video? And what is the name of the class from the video? Again, we're really helping it out here by saying from the video. But uh, for now, again, this is just like a really simple data set. Whenever we are releasing this in production, you actually want to go through, make a much bigger, more extensive data set. But for right now, testing it out, uh, this will be fine to demonstrate the concepts. So what I'm going to do from here is just evaluate it by clicking on evaluate. And I, again, am just going to name it similar to this, which is router. So I'll name the pipeline router. And for the data sets, let me upload that. So upload. I download the router and I'll say router data set, just like that. All right, so select my data set, choose select data set and create my pipeline. And now I can just hook it up by clicking add new column. And then we just wanna hook up the prompt template that we just created, so prompt templates. And for this, I will say the LLM response. And now for the prompt template, what was it? This I router. Uh, we'll just use the latest version. And then for the model engine, uh, we won't select any defaults because we already set our model params on the prompt template itself. So it's just gonna pick up those. And for question, I'm just gonna select the question. And all right, run step. So this was the actual answer. And we'll see what I responds. And actually we're gonna add one more. Okay, so this is looking good so far. So what we can do actually is add one more check, which is equality comparison. And I'll show you what I'm doing right now. So what we're really looking for at the end is did Aya's response, which is in this column right here, match this response, which is basically the right answer. And since it's a little bit different where they just match exactly, it's not like the last video where the right answer was Aya, but she could have said, my name is Aya or oh yeah, actually I'm referred to as I, and they were all acceptable. Here, what we can do is just check strict equality. So equality comparison, and we'll say, uh, we'll just say score. Actually, let's say Boolean, since this is gonna return a Boolean, and we're just gonna compare strings, and this is basically asking, what are the two columns that you wanna compare? So the source is the category. This is just the right answer. And the target is the LLM response, basically what I answered. So I'm just gonna save this. And now all this is gonna do is check if these two values from the category and LLM response are equal. If so, it's gonna say true. And of course, this means that I got all of these right so far. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and run the full batch. And that's just gonna run all five examples instead of four. So, you know, probably gonna get pretty similar results here. But there we go. The initial cells are created. Now I'm gonna give Aya some time to come up with her answers. Looks like she's been doing good so far. And all right, there you go. So it looks like she got a perfect score, a 100. And yeah, there you go. The basics behind the routing architecture in LLM application development. Again, this just really helps with keeping your prompt template small to help with not only maintenance of development, but also to simplify the evaluation process as well. So on that, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next video.